okay it is a class about tables and multiplication so now we all very well versed from 2 to 11 tables isn't it we all very well versed in from the 2 to 11 tables okay so next after a point you should be move on to the next topic multiplications because from the starting the class i'm just telling the heading alone the tables and about the class about tables and multiplications about the class about tables and multiplication keep on telling but we are seeing only the tables now it is a time to see about the multiplications as you all know why i'm just taking the multiplication are very later means because so tables it's like a key to open the multiplication so you all be very clear to make a key that is a table you all should, you all should be very clear about the tables so when we are now we are going to see about or now we are going to jump to the multiplications so multiplications will be very different comparing to the addition what is the main difference between very very important difference between the addition and multiplication means in addition for example see here 1 plus 0 is equal to uh, 1 1 in in the in case of multiplication 1 into 0 is equal to 0 in addition 5 plus 0 is equal to 5 in multiplication 5 into 0 is equal to 0 in addition 0 plus 7 is equal to 7 in multiplication 7 into 0 is equal to 0 or 0 into 7 is equal to 0 so this is the main difference between the addition and multiplication this is the main difference in the addition and multiplication you have to be very clear about it because when this is a your starting time to read the multiplications means you are you all be very clear with the point in addition because we're doing a lot of homework lot of exercise you will be very clear at now only so if again i'm introducing multiplications so you will get confused so please don't get confused in addition the number will be come 1 plus 0 or 0 plus 1 5 plus 0 or 0 plus 5 the number will be the answer whereas in a multiplication 1 into 0 or 0 into 1 5 into 0 or 0 into 5 you see 0 0 the answer will be also the 0 this is the main difference between the addition and multiplications and also you should be very clear about it it will be get practice if you keep on doing the addition and multiplication simultaneously you will be very clear because when you are reading the addition and subtraction you will see 1 plus 1 is 2 here but whereas there 1 minus 1 is 0 1 plus 1 is 2 whereas here 1 minus 1 is 0 you will be very confused at this point also but later if you are doing if you did if you are um, no, after doing a lot of XA you will be get uh, very clear about this point as like only the multiplication also at starting stage everything will be very get confused isn't it that everything that uh, you are not not for a kids for elder also the starting point there will be uh, the, uh, confusion on every point but after you get used to it it will be very simpler and it will be very easier okay now we are going to see or oh, now we are going to full fledgedly going to see about the how the multiplication going to work it out so in this multiplication now we are going to see about a single digit multiplication single digit multiplication means only one number for example 2 into 2 3 into 2 7 into 2 or 8 into 4 9 into 4 10 into 5 so this is not a single digit isn't it so 9 I'm just writing so this is the single digit multiplication okay so in this single digit in this uh, single digit multiplication there is no need to worry about anything 
as like a tables so tables will be in this format 2 into 2 is equal to 4 it will be in this format but as as we saying multiplication the the format will be changed but not the answer so you can also take it 2 into 2 is 4 and also in my introduction class itself i told you what is meaning of a multiplication means to avoid the multiples of addition, we are using the multiplications. That is, for example, this is a very simple, what is the uh, actual question means, if 2 comes 2 times, if a 2 comes 2 times means 2 plus 2 is 4. This is, if a 3 comes 2 times, 3 comes 2 times means 6. If a 7 comes 2 times, here 8 comes 4 times or you can also vice versa. What is a vice versa? You can say 4 comes 8 times. Okay or you can say 9 comes for 4 times. 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9. Or 4 comes for 9 times. Here same. If a 9 comes for 5 times. Or 5 comes for 9 times. So, this is the actual question here. You will be very free or very uh, easier when I am saying for 7 comes for 2 times, 3 comes for 2 times, you can do the addition and you can say easily the answer. Whereas now see here, at this point itself, if 8 comes for 4 times itself, you feel very difficulty doing addition. It will, it is a very smaller digit only. So, 8 also very smaller and 4 also very smaller. But 8 comes for a 4 times or for, for, for example, a 4 comes for 8 times. This is very simple. But in this simple step itself, we feel very difficulty. To avoid these difficulty and to avoid consume of timing, we, we are now taking the multiplications with the help of the tables. Now, we all got a clear point, isn't it? So, see here. 2 into 2 is equal to 4, 3 into 2 is equal to 6, 7 into 2 is equal to 14. So next one, uh, the 8 into 4 is 32, 9 into 4 is 36, 9 into 5 is equal to 45. Okay, so this is the simpler method to avoid the uh, more number of additions to avoid the number of addition we just simplified the numbers using the tech like a multiplications okay so this is a reason and this is how the multiplications works so what is the behind the behind of the multiplication what is the behind of the multiplication means yes it is it is also the addition is there what is the question here 9 into 4 means if a 9 comes for 4 times or 9 comes for 5 times or 7 comes for 2 times this is the main uh, behind this this is the main thing the addition is behind there to avoid the repeating of the addition we just now using the tables we just simplifying the uh, getting the answer by simplified uh, uh, multiplication using the tables okay and also in the starting class itself i have told you about clubbing clubbing of a numbers isn't it the using the array method using the grid method isn't it and using the some chart also i will detailedly explain you what is the behind process of multiplication what is the behind process of multiplication at every point at every beginning of the multiplication there is a addition for example if i'm just a buying a one product the cost of one product is 57 rupees i'm just buying it for a uh, 1235 products 
okay at the same cost so instead of putting a 57 for 1235 time for times i'm just writing 1235 into 57 so this is the main uh, advantage uh, when comparing the addition and multiplication for a small numbers like if 8 comes for 2 times or for example cost of one product is 2 rupees you are buying a 10 product means it will be very easier like a 20 or the cost of one product is 3 rupees you are buying for a 6 6 means you can add 3 6 is uh, 18 you can easily add it so this is a very simple so in a simpler case you don't need to touch the multiplication whereas in a higher range what i'm saying for 57 rupees you have to be very clear with the multiplications at the starting of a multiplication we have seen about a single digit number like 2 into 2 3 into 2 4 into 2 5 into 2 so next we are going to see about some exercise on the single digit number itself because if we keep on we are doing the same thing it will be get practice okay so next uh, 3 into 4 5 into 6 9 into 9 okay so see here what is a 3 into 4 1 into 3 is 3 2 into 3 is 6 3 into 3 is 9 4 into 3 is 12 you can put it on this way or you are good means you can directly say 3 into 4 is 12 and in, uh, one important point is 3 into 4 is same what 4 into 3 so these both are same so 3 into 4 same 12 4 into 3 12 so the number may be a change for uh, the 3 goes up or 4 goes down but the combination of number will be a similar that is I already told in by tables itself 4 into 3 is same 12 or 3 into 4 is 12 the answer not going to be changed okay so the combination of number will be the important we don't want to take it or the 3 whether the 3 will be uh, in right hand side or left hand side or uh, you don't be get confused the combination of number is uh, important if 4 and 3 joins the answer will be the 12 that is a important point see here here 5 into 6 or 6 into 5 is similar okay 6 into 5 is similar so what is the answer 30 9 into 9 81 okay so you second point you should be very clear about it what is that 3 into 4 same answer 4 into 3 the same answer we, we should be very concentrate on the combination of numbers okay now we have seen the single digit multiplications what is the important point we have should be see the combination of the number not the uh, it will be appear first or second you don't be worry about 4 into 3 also same and 3 into 4 also same 2 into 4 also same 4 into 2 also same 8 into 6 also same 6 into 8 is also same answer will be the same okay so this is the single digit multiplication and also we have seen about behind process of multiplication what is the behind process of multiplication in every behind process of multiplication there is a addition see here 6 into 5 its meaning is if a 6 comes for 5 times the 6 comes for 5 times what is the answer that is the behind process of every multiplication to avoid the repeating addition we are just reading the multiplication we are learning the multiplication with the help of the tables okay now we have completed the single digit multiplications with the help of the tables next class we are going to see about the two digit multiplication two digit multiplication versus one digit multiplication that is 32 into 2 or 12 into 2 so upper going to be a two digit and down you are going to be a one digit next class we are going to see about the different combination of two digit into one digit or two into two digit into two digit we are going to see about the different combination of multiplications with the help of the tables okay 
on this point the children please you should be very clear about the tables from 2 to 2 to 11 we have thoroughly learnt with the help of the different kind of uh, method it will be very easy as per i said about the techniques you should be followed to rem uh, memorize the tables if you followed you will be very clear about, clear about the tables okay so today class is going to be end in the single digit multiplications